What's good boys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I edit my videos. Now, if you've ever watched my channel before, I think it's pretty obvious I'm decent at editing. This is terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I never want to say that I'm as big as like Finzar or Jam Fam, but still, I think I'm decently skilled for a kid who's only been editing for like a year and a half. But I've been asked time and time again, how do I edit my videos? And so today, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly my process. Now, just like all other productions are started, you have to actually record the video. So what I do is I just have the most basic setup known to man. I just have a ring light that I got for like 50 bucks at Walmart. I have a tripod that was like 30 bucks at Walmart. I have a green screen, but that was actually pretty expensive. I got that for Christmas. And I have my iPhone 12 as well as my microphone. All these things probably costed under $300, like total, which I know is quite a bit of money for a broke high schooler. Damn, what is that, bro? <laughs> like in retrospect of all sorts of things people are spending thousands of dollars on just weird equipment but yeah it just goes to show that if you have the crappiest of setups you can actually go somewhere with it i originally just started using my phone as a microphone having like the memos app and just recording off my crappy laptop i've had for five years <laughs> No, but in all seriousness, I just hit record, scream into my microphone, and there you go. There's a video recorded and done. Now on to the editing. After everything is done and recorded, I usually take said footage, import it on my computer, and put it straight into Premiere Pro. AKA the best editing software known to man. After all my footage is synced up, I go through the entire recording and cut out things like blank space and just content that wasn't really funny, as well as clips that just aren't necessary to the video where I just started rambling. Just anything that can be taken as boring or might make a viewer click away. This usually is the most boring part of the editing process, considering the fact you're taking raw footage and just cutting it into slices. You're not doing any cool visual effects. You're not doing any cool visual movie things across the screen. You're not doing any sound effects. It's just straight up you talking to the screen. Now that that's all done, it's finally time to start actual editing. Now over my time on YouTube, I have found that doing things one at a time can seriously improve the quality of your video. So what I do first is I go through all the clips I just made and start making funny edits of the things that I find entertaining and might actually attract a viewer to watch the rest of the video. This can consist of zooms, images popping up on screen, different things that just kind of change the overlook of your video. Anything that will make a viewer pay attention to the video and what you're trying to get across can seriously help during this step. Think of it as trying to occupy a baby. Bright colors and fast moving objects are seriously going to work out Get by the way i'm not trying to compare you guys to newborns it's just just that bit overall sounded really really bad i'm sorry wait no don't leave i'm sorry i'm sorry This does tend to be the longer part of the editing process because you're sitting there re-watching basically your entire video and taking the time to sometimes go frame by frame just to add minute details that can seriously up the production quality of the video. Now that you finally have everything edited, everything that you wanted in the timeline, you can finally start adding some sound effects. Yeah, like I was saying, next on the list is sound effects. This can range anywhere from messing with your actual audio of your voice to make it lower or to make your voice sound kind of funny. Just whatever fits like the context of the edit you're doing. The sound effects could be the transition sounds between like, you know, bits of your video. Like if I were to swipe left, I could have like a whip sound, you know, anything that makes it kind of feel like you're transitioning from one thing to the other. For funnier bits, I like to have like small subtle screams in the background, like increase in sound throughout the clip just to make it funnier. Sensation of oh, this is supposed to be comedy, and it's not just some weird 16 year old talking to a screen. <laughs> or maybe for more intense moments, I'll put like a bass drop. 
up or you know a riser if you don't know what a riser is it's kind of like that weird intense like I building that you hear in horror you. movies or just in intense moments in like a movie scene or something along those lines it's always said that for every reaction there's going to be an equal and opposite reaction Boring. Same thing goes for like sound effects and video clips. If you have one video clip that like maybe moves a little bit to the left, just very subtly put a quiet, small sliding sound effect to go with it, you know? So it's an equal and opposite reaction. Same thing if you were to like slam something off the screen, make sure that you put a decent, loud, like crash sound effect, something that goes along with it. You don't want like smashing off screen and it's like, that, that makes no sense. This is one mistake I used to make all the time and that I see new editors making constantly. Loud does not equal funny. I don't want my eardrums bleeding by the end of your video. That is the quickest way to get a viewer to click off your video is if you're sitting there screaming into their eardrums. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're fine. I'm not center. I'm sitting down for comedic effect. Ah, uh, you're finally done with sound effects, editing. It's finally time to click that export button and upload this YouTube video. Stop, stop, stop right there. Stop, just stop what you're doing. Stop, just delete the video, delete, we're done, we're done. You just about messed up on the most overlooked thing when editing a video. Yep, you guessed it, it's background music. This is the thing I see most editors messing up with is the fact that they don't add background music. You don't hear anything to go in the background when those small, silent, subtle things happen. Or if you're having a tone in the video, you don't understand how to get that across without that extra background music. Now, before you go starting slapping random like soundtracks onto your timeline, there are things you should consider. Like the first thing, please just have it go with your video. How would you feel if you're watching a video in this app? Yeah, guys, my grandma died yesterday, and this is so much going on. Yeah, I would rather not hear about someone's dead grandma and then hear just hear dubstep in the back. That that would really offset things. But finally, after everything's done, everything's everything's amazing, perfect, just how you want it. You can hit export. Just kidding. You have to wait four hours for Premiere Pro to actually edit everything. It doesn't matter what you're using. You're going to be waiting a while. Then after that, you're finally done. Just kidding. You have to make a freaking thumbnail if you already didn't. Not only that, but then you have to make a title, a description. You have to make something that will pop out to the viewer. Then you have to add end cards. But at the end of it all, when finally that nice, scrumptious upload button. I need it! Ready to put the video out there that you put your blood, sweat, and tears into for the world to see. You can only watch it 360p because it's not done doing the HD quality yet. Oh, and it also got eight views. I'm not mad, just disappointed. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure you slap that like button in the face as hard as you can. Don't forget that red subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell because why would you not know me for me? The coolest YouTuber ever. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy and I will see you guys in the next one later.